Hi, I'm Matt Vishmalo. Welcome to the Wealth Masterclass where we teach you to make, manage, and multiply money. For some time now, I've been doing a series of teaching on women of wealth. Wow, women of wealth. It is my conviction that what men can do, a woman can do also. But unfortunately, societal values, societal mores, traditions, family values have restricted a lot of women and somehow psychologically a lot of women have accepted that once they make enough money to take care of themselves and their children, it's fine. Women tend to not negotiate salaries like they should. Women tend to not ask for more. A woman, a woman may give so much time, be deserving of six-figure salary. She's given five, but she doesn't say anything. That's why we're taking the time to teach women of wealth. In this series, I'm answering the question why you should create wealth. I've already given 30 reasons. Today we'll be looking at 10 more. So if you hear me say number 31, it means you need to go watch the previous three. Why should you create wealth? Number 31. If you're a minority and you create wealth, You've shown girls from your community that it is possible. In several communities around the world, whether it is in Africa, Europe, Asia, or the United States of America, you would have minority. Matter of fact, the United States of America, even though the black person has been in the United States for the whole over 300 years, he owns less than 4% of the wealth of the whole of the United States of America. And so if a woman in that community now creates wealth, she becomes an example to other girls that this is possible. Same applies whether you are Asiatic or you are European and you are a minority in the place where you live and you are a woman and you created wealth. You've shown girls that it is possible. Number 32, create wealth so you can pay for your children's education without them taking a student loan. Isn't it interesting? Particularly in the Western world, there are people who are six, ten years into working and they're still paying their student loan. I don't know how accurate it is, but I did read somewhere that was years into his being in office that Obama was still paying his student loan. But you see, when you have wealth, then your children didn't have to take the loan because when they take that loan, they empower the banks who are glad they took the loan and they continue to pay. You are able to give your children quality education without any debt hanging over their head like the sword of Damocles. Number 33, there is more good to do with wealth and nothing to achieve with, that, with broke. Listen, those who celebrate broke, those who talk as if poor is good, are either doing it because they have no other choice or because they haven't seen the other side. Poor helps nobody. Broke helps no one. Broke nation I look down upon. They are treated as if they don't even exist. When you create wealth, you do more good. You change lives. You create platforms of opportunities. Platforms of employment for people. Number 34. You are starting a new lineage of wealth makers. That's the reason why you should create wealth. If your daughter saw you create wealth as a woman, she wants to emulate the mother who created wealth. If your daughter saw you achieving, she wants to emulate the mother who created wealth, who achieved. This is the reason for wealth creation number 35. You are a worthy woman and you should start living your worth. I don't know who you are and wherever you live around the world. For you to be alive today and listening to me, you are a woman of worth. You are a woman of worth because there is value to your life. Value is determined firstly by the quality of who you are on the inside of you and secondly by the quality of the impact you are making. Worth should not only be valued on the basis of money, we know. But wealth is even more than money. It is the summation of a robust happy life full of abundance but you see you should not have abundance of joy without abundance of money 
You need all of it. Number 36. Being wealthy frees from being forced to choose between wealth and motherhood. You can have the two worlds. It's your money and your child. Did you know that a good number of women have to stay off work because they've just had a child? Whereas if you create wealth, you are able to go and have your children because you have the money, the money, the wealth continues, the business continues, and, ch and motherhood continues. Number 37, wealth can make your life epic. Epic. Something that people talk about, that people rave about, that people want to get to understand. I'd like you to just imagine some of the wealthy women you know around the world. There's the Mrs. Alakija in Nigeria, there's uh, Oprah Winfrey, there are several others all around the world, Beyonce, Rihanna, and many others I could mention in other cultures and communities. There are several, several women from the Walton family who own Walmart, women from the Rockefeller family, women from several families that have created wealth. I'd like you to just imagine and see how what they are doing is epic. Either by the way they sponsor research into certain diseases or help build schools, change lives, make a difference. Wealth makes your life to be epic as a woman. Number 38, a woman worth millions is a good message to show that it has always been possible. You see, when people are suppressed, you don't know what they can do. When people are kept in lack, you don't know what they can achieve. When a place is a desert, you do not know how it can blossom. I'd like you to imagine the country called United Arab Emirates, with that part of it called Dubai. Just about 35, 40 years ago, it was just a desert. Until somebody known as King Al Maktoum, decided something has to change. A woman worth with millions is also a good message to show that just like Dubai was changed and transformed from desert to a place of desire, you too can show that it is possible to your generation. Number 39, the absence of wealth makes the next generation have to start all over again. I don't know about you, but I had experienced luck. I was raised by a family where we never had enough. We never had, in fact, we couldn't guarantee something as simple as breakfast. I can still have, I still have memories and images of maybe my sister, six, seven years old, early in the morning, shaking my mom and saying, what shall I eat? In the morning. You don't want that perpetuated. You want that to end with your own childhood so that the children who come after, if they must experience something, it is not an unnecessary hardship. There are some hardships that, are, that don't make sense and they are unnecessary. The last point for today's session, number 40, is that women have always been made to have a plan B of survival. Whereas wealth delivers you from that. Women have always been made to have a plan B. If this man does not work, how would my children feed? I, I need to be good to my uncle so that he can be giving us some money. Uh, if my husband is unable to take care of the children, where am I going to get something? I need to just take all the, the, the nonsense my dad is throwing at me so that when he leaves, 